What is good, y'all? It's your boy, The Shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. So, I got this DIY roach bait trap that I'm making, right? This is from a orange juice bottle. As you can see, I put the top upside down and I taped it with masking tape. I'm trying to decide which bait to use, um, but I want to see if I can, you know, catch and, and kill these roaches without having to use any chemicals or you know, resort to using my slipper or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna go with a baking soda, brown sugar, water mix, or just mix the brown sugar and baking soda together. But I'm not too sure yet. By the time this video uploads, you'll see it on Thursday, right? So I'll let y'all know how that go. Check it out. Okay, so as you can see, I was mixing the brown sugar and the baking powder with the water inside the makeshift bottle trap. Yeah, and the whole idea with this one is to lure them inside so that they can't come out. Now, I had greased the inside of the top where the top part of the bottle was cut in half and inverted as you saw. So what I think I'm also going to do is experiment with using just the bacon powder and brown sugar mix and probably roll it into a ball maybe not too sure yet but i want to try and do that without the water leave it somewhere in a corner somewhere because with the diy bottle i want to see if they'll stay in there and can't come out and with the powder and the brown sugar mix by itself maybe as a paste or like i say to mold into a ball i'm not sure if that's possible but yeah I just want to see what works. I've been seeing these large roaches a little too often. I'm just trying something to see if I can reduce the numbers, man. I hope it works because they're very frequent at night. Although I usually see maybe one or two. I noticed that there was some exposed holes in the wall. So I went and used some, basically some caulking to help with that. Filling up the walls with the stuff. So yeah, man, I'll show you the progress. The next day, hopefully, it works, man. Yeah, I want to wait until it's basically closer to sunset, which is about after 8. So then I'll leave it in the basement somewhere, in a corner somewhere, so that I can experiment with that. Yeah, man, so I'll see you guys, and I'll let you know how the progress goes with that. All right, man. Okay, so y'all. It's time to go and check the traps and see if they worked. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil some water first, just in case I gotta, you know, get rid of them. They might still be moving, I'm not sure. It's been some time now and I got a bit of rest. So, let's just see what happened. This is the moment of truth. We find out what exactly happened with the traps. From what I can tell, there's nothing in there. See, I don't see anything in there. You know, I don't see anything at all. Now, the other trap. Let's see. What happened with the other trap? Everything, it would seem, is how I left it. Yeah, guys, I'm looking for any evidence of, uh, you know, dead roaches and... I don't see anything. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, oh boy. <laughs> uh, you see that? Y'all see that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, um, I think, I think this is what happened, right? Yeah, one of them possibly had gotten into the bottle, the trap bottle that I made, which is basically had a spasm and died but that'd be a little um that'd be a little whack if it was just one that died right i wasn't sure if i was gonna get one judging by 
where I found it, right? It's possible that it got into the powder sugar mix instead of the uh, the bottle itself. So there's really no way to tell. But like I said, both things look like they were moved around a bit. Yep, yep, it's done. What I might decide to do is create an entirely new trap using new bait. And then I'm going to add the photos to the results to this video for tomorrow. Again, I'm going to try again tonight and see if I can get more, okay? And didn't I see a, a dead egg sack from the roach too? So that looks like it was a queen. Going back to bring food or something. Or it was brought food, I should say. That confirms that it, it works. I just was, I guess I was just hoping to find more that were gone and, you know, lifeless, but that, that right there proves that it works. Okay, so y'all, as you could see, I had definitely had success with the trap, but it's more than likely that it got to the one with just the bacon powder and the brown sugar because it's closer, but again, I'm not sure. Now, you probably didn't notice in the footage, so I'm probably gonna recap it again here. I can clearly see that the roach's head looked like it popped off or it was caved in. I'm not entirely sure how that could have happened, right? But other roaches have been known to be cannibals, so maybe another roach got to it or its head popped off because of the reaction to the bacon powder. Not entirely sure, but that's that's just a possibility to me. But this fight isn't over, so I'm gonna try making some more traps, see if I can get more. Probably use a different bait this time. Not too sure what I'll use, but yeah. By the time this is all uploaded, you'll see. Okay, so guys, it's time to find out if my second trap with the bottle for the peanut butter and bacon powder mix worked. Alright, here goes nothing. So, I'm looking at the contents right now of the bottle and everything is still in there. Yeah, guys, other than a few small spiders, it looks as though I killed off some of the colony that was in here right or they went to feed took it back to wherever they were going and then they died but i don't see physical evidence of anything like i said new new roaches that are gone so but as you already saw with uh the bottle trap with the bacon powder the brown sugar and the water and the mix up of the bacon powder and the brown sugar right i got one of the females with an egg sack i made the mistake of calling it a queen because i found out recently that you know roaches don't have a hierarchy in their system you know it's just maiden food water and hiding you know what i'm saying but yeah no no physical evidence whatsoever of any new dead roaches. Like I said, there's two possibilities. Either there weren't any roaming about here last night, or they got to the bait inside the bottle, went to go take it back to wherever they're hiding, and then they died. But other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Well, look, for anyone who's having current problems with roaches in their home, especially the big ones like I told you that we have here, unfortunately, may I give you some tips, okay? Number one, don't leave any open food. That means crumbs, you know, snack bags, whatever. Throw all your garbage out. Keep a lid on the garbage. Try to seal up your garbage as much as possible. You know, clean up 
your floors, you know, seal up any holes or cracks that are exposed in the walls and all that. You know what I mean? You could use caulking, you could use new paint, you could even use some kind of glue, you know, steel wool. But yeah, you gotta clog up the holes as well because they can get through any little space and they can make themselves smaller to fit in a small space. You know what I'm saying? Definitely get some roach spray, but definitely only use that in most cases when you're up close with them. Because if you just spray it in the air, yeah, it'll probably get a few that are running around. You know, they breathe it in the air or something, but you really want to use that to directly hit them. You know what I'm saying? May I also suggest getting you some boric acid. I hear that works, you know. Dichotomous earth, I'm going to look into that. I haven't even used boric acid or dichotomous earth. I believe that's how you say it. But yeah, those are the things I would suggest as well. I'm going to look into using those again. In the near future, I will look into that. Yeah. Also, definitely try to keep the clutter down to a minimum. Can't even look. Got the clutter around here a bit myself, man. Yeah, definitely got to take my own advice with that. But overall... We, we have learned that uh, the brown sugar, bacon powder, water mix definitely works. Or even the mix-up of the bacon powder and the brown sugar alone. Tried the peanut butter with the bacon powder, but maybe it took it and, you know, like I said, maybe they died hiding somewhere. Or Hope y'all enjoyed this video, alright? And if you did, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, look in the description down below for the instructions for the bay trap okay so yeah man this is shows world tv all right i make reactions sketches and vlogs don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time i make a new video follow me on instagram and twitter to be updated with everything that i've been doing all right i want to thank y'all for watching all right so if you want more videos like this then click that playlist right there and if you want to see my vegas vlogs click one of those videos right there that i'll leave in the end screen and in my leaves the other two in the mobile cards all right y'all so it's your boy the shows and i will see you guys next time when i upload peace <laughs>